It is time for another special edition of Letter Media Live. I'm Dan Ramey, and we have with us Tiffany Baldwin. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Of course, uh, downtown Chillicothe, Ohio on Facebook. Uh, you can't miss them. And, of course, if you look in this post, just click on where it says downtown Chillicothe, Ohio, and you'll find her page. But we're here to talk about Brewfest. Getting ready for that? Yes, getting ready. It is June 1st, and we're going to explain more in just a moment. But first, these words from Andy Tomlinson and Tomlinson Insurance Agency. This is Andy Tomlinson. When insuring what's important to you, our agents are there when you need us the most. Tomlinson Insurance, for the best coverage at the best cost. Visit us online at tomlinsonins.com to learn more. Brewfest, uh, gosh, is, how many years now? Is this year three or two? Two. Okay. Year two. So, so it started last year. Yes. Okay. So what did you learn from year one and what is different about year two? <laughs> well, we learned that year one was extremely hot. <laughs> so, <laughs> it was. So we put it in order this year to have a cooler year. Uh-huh. <laughs> Um, but because of that, um, we're kind of making some adjustments to the layout of our event um, so that the breweries that are there all day long will have more shade. So we've kind of, um, same place, but just kind of um, switch things around a bit for shade purposes um, in the downtown. And we have um, one more brewery this year than we did last year. Um, this year we have 18. I was trying to go for 20. That's my ultimate goal. Yeah. Um, we're getting closer. Last year we had 17. Is there still time for somebody to slide in? No, because we've already started all of our advertising and printing and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta, gotta make it fair for everybody. That's right. right? That's right. <laughs> as best you can. Uh, for those who don't know, what happens at Brewfest? So you're there to try a lot of brews. <laughs> mm-hmm. So um, we try to get local breweries um, so that you can taste their product and see what they have to offer. And there, a lot of their um, staff or brewers are on hand so that you can ask questions um, about their product, you know, how they make it or, or different things like that. This year, it's kind of cool, too. Um, it's not all breweries because this year we are adding Paps Hilltop Distillery because they're a local distillery um, and it is moonshine rather than beer. Um, but we thought it was kind of cool because they're local. And we're also adding Austin Mill uh, Brewery. Um, they've yet to open their doors, you know, out in Frankfurt. I think you may have heard of them. Um, so they'll be there this year for the public to try. So it's kind of cool um, to bring them on, on board with the, with the other breweries. That's pretty cool. Yeah. This, of course, is taking on a life of its own in many communities, and uh, you're, you're jumping right in there at the right time. <laughs> Trying to, yes. Last year was a huge success. We had um, lots of people attend, um, over f- oh, about 700, 750 maybe people attended last year. So this year, of course, I want larger numbers, so yeah. we'll see what happens. Now, the uh, this is a fundraiser also, right? Correct. Mm-hmm. And if uh, where do the funds go for this? So they go back into downtown Chillicothe as a program um, for projects that we do, whether it's the flowers in the downtown, whether it's the Christmas lights in the downtown, um, different things that we do um, program-wise to bring foot traffic into our businesses in the downtown so that we don't have to charge the businesses to participate. So it becomes a free event to the business um, because we have some cash on hand that we can work with. Businesses like that. No doubt, because uh, you're bringing people downtown, but also if uh, if they don't have to pay, exactly. it's even better. Yes, <laughs> yes. We finally have gotten to that point because when we first started this program, Downtown Chillicothe, in 2018, I just remember going up to the businesses, having to ask them for money to support this, support that. And I always felt like whenever they saw me, they were running from me. But now we're finally <laughs> to the point where I don't have to do that. So I feel like we have more of a... Um, a, a better relationship and we can have conversation rather than me always asking for something. Yeah. It's no longer, yeah. here comes Tiffany. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah. That's how I felt. But, and now it's like, hey, here comes Tiffany. <laughs> right. So, yeah, we, well, I, that's the way to go right there. Um, Brewfest drew a number of people there. Did you get a number, a, a fixed number of how many people were in the crowd? Right around 750. Is that right? Mm-hmm. 750. Yeah. yeah. And, and bigger or better? Every year. Every year. So we hope to increase that to maybe a 1,000 or more. Right. I'm hoping so. And this year we changed things up a bit also. We um, partnered with the Chillicothe uh, Marathon. That's also happening that day. So they take off from 50 West, um, but you can buy combo tickets if you go to their website or my website to purchase tickets for Brewfest, and you get a discount by doing that. But um, we were just trying to – people that were coming in for the Brewfest, give them a reason to stay in our downtown longer. Mm -hmm. 
and maybe drive some overnight stays yeah. um, from this. So, yeah. yeah. And, and I, I know some, some of the guys who are on my vintage baseball team, <laughs> they're not going to play because they're going to run oh. the half marathon, but then we'll probably stick around for brew fest. We'd so love to have them. So they, they will be there. No question. <laughs> um, it, it takes a lot of volunteers to put things like this together and, this is not the only event you do downtown because you've still got Oktoberfest, you got Sand of the Streets coming up too. Do a lot of the people participate in all three? They do. They do. We, yeah. do, we actually have a great community, and I have an awesome working board that if I didn't have them, I couldn't put on these events. So um, they come back for every event, yes. <laughs> How can somebody get involved if they want to, to help in some way? Well, they can either reach out to me directly um, through my cell, through my email, um, which I don't know if you can post that later on there. Sure. But, um, and then also from our website or from our Facebook page. Mm -hmm. And, of course, uh, in this post, you can just click on the link that okay. has both Brewfest information as well as downtown Chillicothe, Ohio. Okay, perfect. And that will take you right to the Facebook stuff. Okay. Um, it, it's, it's incredible to see how things have changed downtown. And this has been, in some respects, a fast transition, but to keep it going has been almost like you, you never stop. Right. Oh, that's how I feel. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but that's good. Um, it gives the community options. And I love that they have options consistently throughout the year, not just from what I do, but from other um, events that are coming to the downtown as well. Um, we, we need to keep things changing and keep things hip and happening for our downtown. Yeah. So when you're out and enjoying Brewfest, for instance, uh, when you're thinking downtown holiday open house, you're going to see Christmas lights that that event helped fund. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, so the money all goes right back into our downtown. And this year also, well, the same as last year. Um, so we, we try to do two things with our events, particularly downtown Chillicothe's events. One is we try to keep the sidewalks open um, and arrange our event so that the um, pedestrians can and the shoppers can flow freely um, and continue their shopping. We don't want to hinder that in any way. And the second thing is we try to encourage our downtown businesses that are particularly in the area where the events are to come out onto the sidewalk to capture the people that are in front of their businesses so that they're going to be productive on that day as well. Yeah. So, and, and I know in speaking to some of the downtown businesses, they really appreciate having you as a cheerleader for what they're doing. Absolutely. Downtown. Yeah, I'll do anything. I'll hear anything that they have to say. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to say I want to do everything, but if you give me a good reason behind it, I probably will. Um, but I am definitely one of their biggest cheerleaders for sure. Yeah. Uh, to get tickets to Brewfest, what do we have to do? You can go to, as you mentioned, the Facebook page, the uh, Chillicothe Brewfest Facebook page. Um, you can also contact me personally, and I can give you a paper ticket if you don't want to do um, it online. I know sp some people don't like to do that uh, electronic transaction, which is totally fine. Um, I'll take cash check, however. Um, so, yeah, you can purchase them multiple ways. Very good. June 1st is Brewfest. We want to have you back in when we get closer to Brewfest, so okay. uh, you can give us more more intimate details <laughs> just due to the fact that we'll be closer to the event. Right. So good to see you. Thank you. Too. you. Thank you. Tiffany Baldwin with Downtown Chillicothe, Ohio, and Brewfest coming up on June 1st for this edition of Litter Media Live.